Okay, let's see if we can't finish this absolute clusterfuck of a battle. I think all that remains is that we have to kill this one fucking skeleton. And he's all the way over there. It's a good thing I didn't do this ruin actually, because we would have still just been standing around outside it at this point. This battle would have been crazy long. The next ruin, however, is very, 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 very important for a couple of reasons. And we will definitely be doing that one, I assure you. One hit kill, one hit kill, one hit kill. Damn it. <sighs> counter, counter, counter. <sighs> We're going to have to go back into the freaking ruin for one more turn now. And now the ruins explode. We did not escape from the ruins, we were never in it! Yeah, good riddance to bullshit ruins. You shall not be missed. Okay, time to end this. And just because I want to soul steal. Yay, suck that his spirit. Ah. And that's the end of the battle. Well, I can tell you one thing they were doing, annoying the shit out of me. I think that's everything to do with it. That's not a nice thing to call Don Hort, an unusual creature, even though he is. Getting into world changing events as per RPG fashion. No story in an RPG is worth telling unless the world is at stake. I would say, oh, I wonder if there are any RPGs where somebody's just, you know, getting on with their business and, you know, just wants to, just a tiny little thing, but I'm sure there is. So if anybody knows any RPGs that are about rather mundane things, let me know. palm trees, just set up a net, you know, play some volleyball, hope you've got your sun cream. Don Hawk looks like he's had too much sun over the years, living in Barron, his face is like a fucking leather boot.
powerful sea monster. If you think it is that we will get to the other side of this without encountering the sea monster? If you answered A, absolutely no fucking chance at all, you are right. Okay. Quick overview of the battle. Got some lizard men, typical stuff, succubus. Pincer crabs, or whatever they're called. Pincer crabs, scissor crabs. Pincers, scissors, no, it's all the same to me. And yeah, so as we move forward, the tide is going to go out and reveal more places that we can walk. The downside is that it's all fucking sand, so uh, we're going to have a long walk ahead of us. And this uh, dark blob here, hmm, can you guess what that is? Anyway. Onwards, and this is the last battle of the chapter, and it's an exciting one too. No, what are you doing, Bernard? I know you must be itching everyone to see uh, see Don Hort in action. Don't worry, he will do something in this battle, I'm sure of it. Even if it is only to get himself killed. Cause he's a goddamn maniac! Always high on drugs. Nothing to worry about there. Nice. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that ninja characters aren't as affected by the sand as other characters because Hazuki seems to have no problem walking over any surface, and oh my god, what are these horrible ew, appendages, tentacles? Well, I suppose it is a Japanese game after all. Adoba, Hazuki, I think you'd better cover up, otherwise, you might get violated. reasonable damage and here's the tide going out revealing some more places where we can walk comfortably that it? oh equip what? equip nice attack Sorry, I don't know what was going on there. If you heard, I went at it, which is very Japanesey of me. If something unexpected happens, sort of like an exclamation word. Probably the only thing I'll be taking back with me to the UK. People will look at me and they'll be like, "What are you saying?" But I won't care, because I'll be like, up, oh, picked it up in Japan, bitch. And then they'll be like, ooh, that's amazing. Or maybe not. Maybe they won't care. I think that's more likely. I think they will not give a shit. But that's life. That's what all the people say. They don't give a shit about where you've been. 